This time I'm gonna show a quick tutorial about these cute small glassine envelopes I also sell on the shop. So these I often use on a journal page as a journal pocket. This is not the same glassine material as you have in US. This is actually, we call this sandwich paper. This, I buy it in a big roll. This is supposed to be put between sandwiches to so hold them fresh, if you like stack several. And so I make these from the start. This is quite simple project. So I start by taking quite a long piece. So I make several envelopes at once. Are we in the screen? So my envelopes are about, if I remember right. Oh, we can just measure. My envelopes are about three times, a little bit over two, which is then six times eight centimeters. I have also made like tiny cute ones. You can get maybe postal stamps inside. So I try to get it straight, but I need half of the width plus a little bit overlapping. So I take I take one and a half inches. I can cut cut off them if I need to. About a straight line. This is a long piece that I can. Uh, fit, it, fit it well here and now I need the width which is a little bit over two inches so I make the fold here And now you see we have a lot of extra here. So again, I take a straight line uh, of the fold. Then I measure how much we need overlapping here. I need a little bit under one and a half inch. So we adjust the fold here on top of the line take a little bit under one and a half and now I have one more long piece I can make new ones or one more set so now I have about straight line on this side and I have to adjust the other side otherwise you see it's quite asymmetric. So I want the same amount here, a little bit under one and a half. Now I have a nice little overlapping in the middle. And I'm gonna glue the middle part now. What I use, white glue would hold just fine. 
I don't know if your tacky glue does the same as white glue, but this uh, crumbles a little bit. So I don't like to use this one. These are really strong glues. This uh, is about probably about the same as E6000 that you have. Usually I use this one, but I also happen to have the same, but it's uh, gel. So it's a little bit more neater. I don't get maybe so much staining on the outside of the lines. It, but it doesn't, it doesn't need much. It could be a little bit more overlapping too. It doesn't have to be, but it doesn't matter if it's uh, wider. Next, I'm gonna cut this in lengths. And what we measured here was about three inches long. I take this down so I don't rip off the glued seam. We have three inches long pocket but I have just a bit fold here a little bit under half inch so I take just a bit more than three inches Then we make the fold on the back side where the seam is. Then I cut off the edges. I think it's neater, but it's not it's not necessary. Now when I cut off the edges I get two separate sides which I have to then glue both. If I wouldn't do this I could glue only the bottom. Okay. Same thing here I glue the fold. I don't need much glue. But now we need to take the other part. Then I need my cir circle punch. I am probably using the small one. But this is so thin paper. I need uh, another paper or cardstock under. Of course, this would have been easier to do when before gluing everything. So I measure the half halfway of the pocket. You can cut through both of the sides, it doesn't matter. I think I did, did it here. There's also the half moon on the back side. Here I didn't, you don't, you don't see a big difference. So if it's easier to cut the both sides, if you forgot to do it before gluing like I did, then you can 
make it easier for yourself. Okay, next stage is inking, distressing. I have every time I have a worse and worse blender, but I kind of like it <laughs> like that. Or no, this might be too bad, but uh, I I don't like the brand new. It's too neat. So I ink all the edges. inked all the six pockets and <clears throat> the lids I have cut some lids ready I use old book pages so I need the same width of course than my pockets So I, get, I cut uh, strips which are same width than the pocket. Then I cut about a little bit over. It it depends if you want to make small lids or if you want to make bigger ones as I made here. Up to you. But you need a little bit to fold it back and the length of the lid itself. So I could make one and a half inch for here. One and a half. I'm not gonna cut it more now because uh, I think it's enough that we one together and then I just fast forward you so I fold it maybe one third I check the width that it's the same it's not sticking out from neither side if I'm happy with that I cut the corners from the front. I of course ink it or distress it. I don't distress the back side usually. Then I glue the inside of the flap. I check that the, uh, my seams are on the back side and I place my pocket just some just a little bit under the fold it's a little bit easier to use if it's not all the way up and might be nice to wipe off the glue from the middle when I since I punched the both sides okay still when the glue is wet it's good to check that it's straight if it's not I can still adjust it a little bit and then the fun part I used uh, just a note stamp, but I could use any other stamp I have or you have. I think this time I make it special and I use these tiny um, feathers. 
I have these stamps also in my shop. There. I can stamp the other ones too. But just to show, okay, here's the whole set for feathers. I love it. It has different sizes of feathers. The small one is so cute. But I think I used the sweet. If it's not too big, no. I'm going to attach rest of the lids and come back. Okay, welcome back. Here are the pockets. I also made one what says goals. I hope you got the point and I hope I managed to share some inspiration. Uh, if you have anything to comment or feedback, please do comment below. Thanks for watching and bye.